Hi everyone and uh, welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to briefly talk about how to check if your RAM is working in dual channel mode or not. Uh, as you would know the dual channel mode can give your RAM a really nice performance boost so it's really important that if you at least have two RAM sticks that they are working in dual channel mode. Basically for this we are going to use a free utility called CPU-Z. This is a very light and a very popular utility and you can download it from the official website. I've included the link to this utility in the description below but once you head over to their website you just download the setup link and then download it and install it uh, and once it's installed you just fire it up now with the utility installed and up and running we are basically interested in the memory section of this utility so we need to head over to the memory tab here you will see a specific field labeled as channel and next to that it will tell you whether it is in single or in dual channel mode you can see that my memory is working in dual channel mode as indicated here. Now, if this says single, then it could mean one of two things. Now, the first reason it could be saying single is because you only have a single memory stick. In order to enable dual channel mode, you need to have at least two RAM sticks. This is why it is important that whenever you buy memory sticks for your PC, you distribute your required capacity into at least two sticks. Meaning if you have a requirement of 16 GB RAM, then instead of getting one 16 GB stick, you get two 8 GB sticks instead. The second reason for your RAM not working in dual channel mode could be that they are not installed in the correct RAM slots. You need to refer to your motherboard for that. Here I have a manual of a motherboard open and this page tells me how to enable the dual channel mode for this particular motherboard. Basically, if you have four or more RAM slots on your motherboard, you need to put the RAM sticks in alternate slots. So slot 1 and 3 or slot 2 and 4. In this case, slot B1 and A1 would form a pair for enabling the dual channel mode and slots B2 and A2 would form a pair for enabling the dual channel mode. So I hope this video helped you out a little. If it did, I'd appreciate a like and a subscribe. Thank you.